hey guys welcome to another skin jobs tutorial today we're going to be working on the screaming skulls stencil this is a negative stencil so what i'm doing right now i've already prepped a sheet of clear plastic and i've hit it with a very light coat of uh transparent i'm sorry of candy blue and this is the outline this is the outside skull here we're going to be working uh of course with a light source that's going to be on my right so i've already got some white in my brush and i'm going to go ahead and spray uh around uh the edge of this skull on the right hand side because that's where my light source is it's on the right so if i have a light source on the right of course i'm going to have uh, a shadow on my left side of this skull I'm not working with multiple light sources here, so I'm only working with one light source. Uh, this this stencil is very, very, very uh, easy to detail. And uh, it'll work well on your RC body. The Lexan or the type of plastic that we're using, the Mylar, is actually very, very easy to maneuver, bend and shape around whatever uh, corners or edges you might have on any RC body. So here's the first coat of white for my highlights and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take some more candy blue and I'm going to uh, go over this white this will kind of isolate the first coat of white and this way this white will be brighter than all of the other layers and colors that I'm working on just because it's a single layered stencil doesn't mean that you can't uh, have really good detail so I'm lining my stencil back up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue uh, with the white. Now I'm going with a second layer of white over the first layer uh, with the candy blue. Now this particular uh, shadow of white will be slightly darker than the first. So I'm basically transitioning with my white one layer of candy blue with white another layer of candy blue now another layer of candy of uh, white so this is going to give me a little bit more depth now you can see the skull working from right to left and the further left i go the softer i use the white because the skull is round it's not flat and because the light source is on the right the further you get to the left it not only does it get further away from the light but it also it's round so it turns away from the light it's going to be darker on that left hand side so here I am applying another coat of candy blue and I'm gonna uh, grab a little black here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my stencil back in place and line it back up and now I'm going to apply uh, the darker areas of this skull, which would be on the right side. And as this skull is not getting as much light on the right, it's going to be dark right on the edge. It's going to be very dark. And the further I work my way towards back towards the center or back towards the left, towards the light, I'll begin to fade off with the black so that I'll have uh, the actual edge of the skull will fade off into the background once I lay my top coat of black. But the closer you get to the left side, I'm sorry, the closer you get to the right side, which is where the light source is, the less black I'll use, I'll fade off because the light is actually coming around from the other side. So now I've got my highlighted side I've got my shadowed side and this will give this stencil some life. It won't just look like you just sprayed a color onto the stencil. It'll look like you actually have a three dimensional item or a skull on your RC body, which is what you really want to do to try to make your work stand out more. Uh, right now I'm spraying some white into certain areas like in the eye sockets and uh, inside the nose cavity Just something I like to do uh, This is another layer of uh, You know art that you can apply 
what I have right here is a uh, is a stencil that I use for texture because the skull isn't just solid colors if you look at skulls it has all skulls have all different types of dents and potholes and uh, you know there are lines and there's fractures all in skulls so uh, this stencil I'm using with black is basically to add some texture so once I finally decide to go over the final uh, sections for the skull and back it with my color you'll see uh, this texture applied to the skull which is you know what you want to do you really want to try to make your work stand out you want to make your work look as real as possible and since we're working on RC bodies you know these are small items so you really really want to try to add as much detail as you can you take away from what you started with, which is a stencil, and you turn it into something that looks like uh, real art, that looks like, oh, well, guess what? That's not a stencil, or is it a stencil? People ask me all the time, uh, is that a wrap? Uh, are those decals? No, it's airbrush, it's 100% airbrush, but you take your time, you use the stencil for what it should be used for, which is just a guideline to get you to the next level so uh, again these stencils are for sale I have a lot of different stencils that are uh, on my eBay store or on my Facebook page and there are a lot of tutorials this is uh, one of the newer ones in the series we just started using a new software so we can actually promote these a little bit better so hopefully uh, you know this helps you guys out if you have any questions you're not sure about how to apply, how to use, look at some more of my tutorials or just send me a message. I tend to get right back to people as soon as I can. So uh, at any given time, don't hesitate to contact me and I'll see if I can help you out. So right here, what I'm doing is... Uh, applying some extra stuff. I'm doing some flames. There are flames coming out of his mouth, coming out of the nose cavity, off the top of the head. This way, this, you know, this is just what I do. I can't, for some reason, just leave this looking like just a skull, which I could have, but I chose not to, not in this instance. This way, I'm letting you know that, you know, the skull was just the first part of, of the artwork. So now it's up to you to take your work a little bit further. I could have took other skulls and added them. I could have took uh, uh, some stencils and made some crosses and all other types of things. I could have made branches. I could have did so many different things to make this different. So here I'm putting in little sparks, little little drops of uh, white to give me a spark of blue that looks like they look like they're running up and running away from uh, the actual flame itself. This right here is the black. I'm going to back this entire skull in black and what that'll do is that'll fill in all of the cavity spaces, the eye sockets, the mouth, the nose. And because I'm using candy blue and, and white, now basically what you're going to get is black is going to eliminate a lot of the uh, overspray, a lot of the uh, other things that were seen that don't really need to be seen. So just the work that I've done in the white will come through. And again, my, uh, my black is mixed one to one, one part paint, one part reducer. I'm spraying at about 25 PSI and uh, I'm using a Wagner heat gun. If you get one of these guys be careful it gets hot but I'm used to using it I know the distance to hold it and I know how fast this thing dries it's because of this heat gun I can do a body in an hour versus two or three hours with just a hairdryer it takes much longer so let's take a look and see what we have again this isn't uh, like the best work it's just to give you an example of what you can do uh, with the stencils that I provide. 
uh, you are only going to get out of it what you put in it. So here it is. It's an ice blue skull. And you can see where the light source is and where the shadow is as the skull fades around towards the back. So thanks for watching. Make sure you place an order today. Thank you.